What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Chris says, what's up, if you guys didn't hear. Anyways, kind of a big day. We've been waiting for this We've for- We've done this so many times. Yeah, but they've been, they've been waiting. People have been commenting about oh. this. Is this DIY? Is this DIY? Are we giving away our secrets today or not? Well, they're gonna see us build it, so. No, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, we'll see, if they ask. So, anyways, guys, here is DIY. Gang. Gang, sorry, gang. Bronco body. So, this is the jig table. You guys have probably seen the other videos if you've gone through all of them. I know oh, there's you one right there. Yeah, I know you can't see me going the other direction, but um, this is what they start on. This is the finished product right here. All the body mounts line up perfectly. Just a good way to get this thing shipped out. This one is nice. We only had to make one this time because we're building two bodies right now, but we don't have to remake that one because that one was that body. Yep. So we saved ourselves some steel and some labor um, since we put that one completely together on that frame for that other customer. But what, so this is DIY gang right there. And then over here for a, a, another friend of ours up in Nevada. Uh, and it's actually going to be going to a body shop for all of its finish for the paint and all the rest of that. So we're not gonna have a whole ton of info like we did on that one, but we're just pretty much gonna be assembling these two and shooting them off and then we have fun stuff. I wanna do fun stuff. I know, yeah, I'm over this, this stuff so for customers. You guys don't wanna watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys definitely wanna see the, the cool stuff. This is just what pays the bills. Yeah. Well, kinda. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna get this knocked out. Chris is getting all the measurements pulled off of hey, it. dogs, go lay down. Go lay down. Yep. Typical oh, dogs. The place. But anyways, we're going to get this going real quick. Keep you guys updated. So hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Good job, Chris. Got all the measurements pulled. Got it all set in place. So now we just gotta get it welded. So well, excited. Tack welded. So excited. I know it's nothing crazy, guys, but hey, it's the day to day. MBI Motorsports. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just wait, guys. We got big things coming. Big things coming. Yeah, we're pretty much just wasting time right now. Yeah, just wasting time. But what's new? With I feel what? Like that's my whole damn life. Just wasting time. Wasting <laughs> oh, you're, time for something oh I thought big. you were asking me what, like, what's new. No, but that's what yeah. you're, you're just saying in general. Like, <laughs> in general. <laughs> that's just what we do. That's what we do. Waste time till something big happens. Yep. So, well, we get these things squared up and start getting this thing welded up. And Remy, Jesus. go to your bed. Like how he corrects my own dog. They listen better when we yell at each other's dogs. Yeah. Well, I have my white privilege card. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get to welding. So, the reason he's doing this is because he changed the measurements. I'm usually the measurement guy, all of that. <laughs> and, uh,. So when he called in the order to go pick up the steel and have everything cut, you made welcome. a decision. Thank you, thank you. Decided to make all of, all of them about about four inches higher than they were before, and that way the forklift won't interfere with the rocker when we're trying to pick we're, it up. We're underneath. still gonna have that issue when we're done. Would you not add enough? What are you talking about? We're but, still gonna have an issue with the forklift because we're cutting it. No, because we did. We are leaving them. The rest of them yeah. are higher. This one you just need way higher. Correct. Okay, so so it's six instead of three and a half. Yep. 
But yeah, I just figured I'd get take a little jab at this. It's supposed to be funny. Ha 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 ha. Get all serious. <laughs> but somehow the measures got a little messed up. Just like, oh, I was gonna try to make it level. I'm like it is level. <laughs> We've been building these on these forever. They're fine. But yeah. So hopefully we can make these nice and square with the chop saw because when we did this one over here. We throw a ratchet strap on there to pinch everything tight for when the welds happen. But the issue comes through is uh, if these cuts aren't square, they they kick the whole thing out of square when you're measuring corner and a corner. Kind of like how this one, I don't know if you can see, a few of them did it, to where it kind of has a little bit of a lean to it from where the cuts weren't perfect. But we're trying to solve that by having the, the metal supply shop do all the cuts so one quick little modification and then uh we'll be on our way able to get this thing all mocked up it's all tack welded got the risers on aka little body mounts this right here is where we're gonna run the the bolts through the nuts on the bottom side pretty slick setup so yeah got the, I don't know what that towel is doing right there the dogs probably put it there but yeah Chris is gonna be here in about five minutes we can get these legs put on for the casters just like this one this one we're gonna do a little bit shorter, but uh, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get welding on this, get the final weld done, and talk about a little bit what we got going on with the DIY gang and their build that we're putting together. And also, you guys check out the video up here that they just posted yesterday that actually was really, really cool. So anyways, stay tuned. guys think very simple we actually have our uh, middle supply house do all the cuts for us which is a huge help huge help big how time how long did it take how all, long did it take all you day to cut those all day i highly not recommend and four it. wheels four three or four cutting wheels yeah no it was yeah the chop saw i think yep. we went through three blades on the chop saw or two and a half yep. <laughs> um then the casters we're running here are uh, just cheapos, like 20 bucks for the set of four from it's Amazon. Nice. Yeah, no, it's great. Heavy duty. Yep, yep. So, yep, that's how we do that. If you guys are interested, you guys want any details on how this is built, you know, cut sheet, anything like that, go over to the Instagram um, and check out MBI over there and uh, send us a private message, whatnot, and we can get that information to you. Um, but as far as that goes... And Chris, being the measurement guy, will gladly get that over to you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that little, what was that little thing you said yesterday? A little yesterday? jab. A little jab. Yeah, a little jab. <laughs> Chris at mbimotorsports.com. Is that what it is? Uh, not yet, but it's going to be. <laughs> no, no, not the website. Instagram. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What you have to follow <laughs> to DM. So... We know the, the messages are coming. Yep. The last time we did the video on this. <laughs> Didn't know if we want to give out some of the secrets, but at this point, who cares? F it, I don't care. I'll let you know. Anyone who orders a body from us is gonna have the measurements from one. They could always just measure it and give it to you. So might as well just give it out there. And there's what, four or five companies, I think, that are building carts pretty much the same way. So, but yep, 
That's how what we did there. Another boring video, but <laughs> this is what we do. So, hope you guys are having a good week, and we'll see you soon.